Let, let me let me start from a slower pace here. Hold on. She turned off. Oh man. So I was going over the berm. Cut out. Ride the motherboard. Got my S18. Rescuing my S22. Hey there, all you dusty riders out there. Welcome back to the Five Cowalk channel. And today we're premiering the S22 out here in the Soquel Demonstration Forest out here in the Santa Cruz Mountains, in beautiful California. Now, um, this is my personal wheel. I did purchase it from eWheels. It's not a test wheel by any means. Um, so shout out to eWheels. Thank you very much. They are an awesome dealer. I'm not being sponsored uh, on this video or anything like that, you know, to promote the S22. This is just strictly my personal video. Um, what I think so far about the S22, I know you guys have heard that there's been some issues with the motor. Um, I've already done some, the, some of the tests. I've done the uh, torque test. It passed, although not as aggressively as some others have, although I have done it actually several times. I've done it three times. One, two, three, three times. And also, um, I've taken it out to a bike park to do some tabletop jumps and stuff like that and purposely landing on top of the tabletop, uh, giving it a good spin, giving it that spin drop test. But anyways, this is the S22. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit more closer here. Um, I did put on my uh, Clark pads on here. I will be uh, changing these out to some different pads in the future. Actually, this will be the last time that you see this wheel in this stock configuration. I am going to change out the tire. I did not like the way the tire performs, um, especially in turning. I also took it to um, a rock, like a chunky technical rock type um, trail. I did not like the way it performed, so I am going to change that out. But there is the S22. And I'll be taking it out here to kind of show you some of the performance out here. Also, be careful with this here. A lot of people have complained that they're getting rubbing on the stock tire. That's basically because of this wheel well here. I was riding it in the, like I said, out in the chunky rock terrain. I did drop it a few times. And um, this right here got bent in that way, causing the rub on the side. But just had, had to get a hammer and... Uh, pry it over to the other side now it's just perfectly fine so yeah let's uh get on riding okay well you will hear some uh, squeaking in the suspension, but I'll go ahead and show you now. Um, I'll put the camera closer to the suspension here so you can kind of get some noises here. much noise. I was uh, kind of hoping you'd be able to hear some of those squeaks, but it doesn't seem I was able to get some. But, uh, hi there. Uphill though, it does have some decent torque. I mean, it's uh, on par like with my Sherman, you know, as you can 
see here. It's got plenty to boost me up. Um, well, you can see the speed here. Let me, uh, now this is still in kilometers, guys. Still in kilometers. I haven't figured out how to, uh, whoop. Still haven't figured out how to um, change that to miles per hour. But if anybody, anybody knows out there, please leave a comment in the uh, comment section. That'd be great. But this is all uphill. As you can see from a uh, wide view, you can see what the steepness is. So you can get an idea of uh, what type of climb I'm doing here with the uh, S22. Let me demonstrate a uh, motor hum. This will be uh, the normal hum that you hear from the S22 when going uphill or giving it torque from a slower speed. I'll try to attempt this right here. Well, I'm not getting that hum. Um, let me let me start from a slower pace here. Hold on. Okay, you kind of heard it right there. Um, but I, I like the torque, you know, for this stuff out here. Medium to semi-hardcore stuff. I think it's perfect. All right, we'll see you guys in a while. We are going to do a section here, at a uh, pretty famous section here at the SoCal Demonstration Forest. It's a section called the Flow Trail. Um, one of the easier trails out here, as far as like technicality. All right, guys. So uh, let's turn on over here. You good old wheel cam. And let's have some fun. So now you can hear those little squeaks. And again, that's just from the dust getting in there and with those rubber stoppers. Okay, let's go. One 
thing, these pedals are super grippy. These stock pedals, they, they're grippy. That right over there from going up on the berm. Oh, she turned off. Oh man. Are you serious? <sighs> Should have followed my gut feeling this morning. As you saw, <laughs> um, yeah, that pedal just clipped that uh, root. So I was going over the berm, cut out, ride the motherboard. 77 pounds going down that uh, flow trail is not possible, carrying 77 pounds going down that. Um, I mean, it is possible, but, oh man. So I did stash it, I had to come back with a different wheel, pick it up. Luckily there is a fire road that goes in between this trail here, right? In case of emergencies and stuff like that, right? It's a uh, it's, uh, emergency road, um, which will, I will be using to go back up with the, uh, I don't know, I'll figure out which wheel I'm going to bring. My S18 can probably do it. Um, if not, maybe I can borrow a wheel because my Sherman's out of commission right now. And, uh, I'll have to go retrieve it. Yep. Pick it up. I'm going to strap with the, uh, with my tether to make like a little strap that goes over my shoulder so I can carry it as I'm riding. And I'll be, uh, riding down this fire trail and then back up the normal trail about three and a half miles back to the parking lot so yep gotta do the trek all the way back up there get back home I'm not gonna have enough time to come back here today I have to come back tomorrow morning early because it's also supposed to rain I mean, <laughs> what an adventure, man. I mean, it couldn't have happened in a uh, worst time, but c'est la vie, right? That's what we live for out here, writing these things, trusting the wheel, trusting the technology. Um, I well knew full in that, you know, something might happen. 
I even had a gut feeling this morning too. I should have followed it. I uh, I brushed it off as uh, just nerves, right? Because it's a new wheel, but I should have just trusted that feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, trust your gut feelings. All right, on to the trek, and we'll see you tomorrow to pick up the S22. That's good. Boy, am I tired. As you can see, I'm out here. It's raining, which I knew it would be. Got my S18 rescuing my S22. I'm up in the forest. I'm so tired. Been using my uh, tether as a sling to put it over my shoulder and carry it as I ride. Almost to the parking lot out of the 4.5 miles. I got one and a half miles to go. So I'm almost there. Being that it was raining, I did have to put this uh, over uh, over the top here of my S18. I don't want uh, water to get into the uh, motherboard and then I'll have two wheels out here stuck. Oh, what an adventure. See you guys at the car. Well, I made it back to the car. I'm exhausted. Here's my uh, wheel, my my rescuer, my S18. I love my S18. It uh, it returned the favor. I rescued it once from up here, and now it uh, returned the favor and rescued my uh, S22 from up here. It's all wet and muddy. I uh, was all wet. Had to take off all. Uh, all my wet clothes. Luckily, I had a dry sweater in here that I put on. It's still raining out there. I'm back home. Well, now time to put a new motherboard, possibly a new wheel or a new motor. Uh, and the next time you see the S22 on the channel, it'll be a brand new wheel. Until next time, stay dusty my friends.